everybody, it is Fael, and today we're going to be playing another RPG horror game. This is called Deep Inside. Alright. Here we go. I'm just jumping in without knowing pretty much anything, as always. <laughs> okay. Some people just want to watch the word world burn they say all right we set a mansion on fire I'm one of them okay a smear man mansion lays family residence home is where one <coughs> excuse me home is where one starts from T.S. Eliot. Can you check out the trees? A weeping willow. Its leaves float eerily at the wind. I'm really <laughs> getting into these horror RPGs in case you guys can't tell. Okay. Wow. Oh, there you are. There you are. Mm -hmm. Um, sorry, I um it's been a while since I saw a new face here and I I got all excited. Greetings. Oh right, my name is Hilda. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Oh, we're cute. <laughs> Master Gareth is waiting for you. He should be in his rooms. Come to come to me later We when we have time to talk. Okay, so Master Gareth is looking for us. Although modern compasses use the names of the eight principal directions, north, northeast, east, southeast, etc., older compasses use traditional... Italiante wind names of medieval origin. Trom okay, I'm gonna get these wrong. Tramontana, Greco, Leviana, etc. North. Okay. Is this gonna be important later? I think it is. Oh, no tea for us? Wow, well, look at everything. The clock is broken. Well, oh. Okay, looks like you guys have a few hole problems here. It's a series of scattered letters. Which do you want to read? Old newspaper. According to the owner, Gareth Lay, the flat the fire started at night. Estimated time, 3 a.m. Due to the dangers poised by the structure, it was not possible to carry out an internal investigation. Okay, so the guy in the picture that was next to the flame at the beginning was blonde. So is that Gareth? Because our dude right here is not blonde. Okay. Esmore Mansion was built in 1806 by the Lay family. The estate is situated on a 40 acres of woodland, built as a wedding gift. It is rumored to be cursed since its construction. Workers were killed on the site. Okay, we got a haunted house now. Okay, scrap notes. Dear Aiden, or Aiden. I'm going to say Aiden, you know, kind of like in um, Dragonheart. It was Aiden. Yeah, I like that. For Dear Aiden, you don't know me, but I know you. The house may look small, but it has no secrets to me. I left something for you in the warehouse. The last part is torn off. Wait, I didn't read that part. I left something for you in the warehouse. It's where I used to fill the winds. So yeah, we're probably going to need to do that. A book with listings and invitations for tea parties. It must be for a living room on the upper floors. Okay, wait. Interesting. Beds? Why is there beds? Oh, this must be like the servant quarters. All the servant belongings are crammed into one tiny drawer each. Yep. Wait, why is there a big hole in the wall? You notice something stuck in the hole. Do you want to reach it with your hand? You kneel down, reach with, with your hand, and you catch something dusty and thin. You obtain a, a mysterious piece of handwriting. Can we? Oh god, I don't know Spanish. Okay, well, we'll go ahead and save.
don't want to do this. Okay, there we go. They said no one would believe me. That's why I'm hiding small notes, talking to an unknown person who will take my place. I left something for you under the willow Master loves the most. Don't get caught. Okay. Okay, we're doing good so far. We got so much info. The, urban, the other servant's room, locked for privacy. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's not a door. The wall looks different than the other. others. I wonder why it's cleaner. Probably because it's a secret door. I know these things. Under the willow. There's three willows here. Okay. Maybe there's a different willow they're talking about. It's gotta be a different one. Maybe it's buried. Ooh, somebody else. Hang on, I gotta look at all your crap. Okay, maybe I... There's nothing to look at. Oh, you're cute. Huh? What are you staring at? Can't you see we have lots of work to do? Yeah, yeah. As you can see, the servitude is reduced to the bone. Congratulations on your new job. Now take your stuff to your room and leave me to work. Okay, so we're a servant. The sink is busted. It looks rather defective. I want to look at the cupboard right above you, dude. Move. Can can I look at the... Can it, thank you. All the cut cutlery is stored here. Okay, can we look out the window? No. Okay, he don't like us. Okay. Ooh, another person. Can I not go this way? Guess not. I can't. Hey, this was the guy we just met downstairs in the kitchen. He moves fast. Oh, hi. You must be the new one. Iden, correct? I heard the others whispering your name. We all hope you'll last longer than... Oh, sorry. I'm not supposed to say that. By the way, call me Zakara. I'll be l watching over you. Tea time. 5 to 6 p.m. To access the room, it is required a written invite. It is the servant's task to write invites to the tea party. You can invite people for tea writing, for tea, writing a letter from the book located in every servant's room. Choose the person you want to write it to, then select the letter from your inventory. Remember, tea is not only a drink, it is a way of knowing the others. Have a nice day. So if we want to meet somebody, we help them get here. Ooh, bathroom. The hot tub is ready for Master Gareth. Okay. Okay, he's gonna take a nice bath. It's locked. Full of elegant clothes. One of the shirts don't match their style and size. So somebody been sleeping in here? That's not normally in here. The sheets are freshly changed. A lavender fl flavored scent comes from them. Oh. I asked not to be disturbed. Go. Ah. Oh. You must be the new servant, Aiden. Yes, it's a pleasure to meet to serve you, Master Lay. Oh. Okay. I prefer Master Gareth. Mrs. Courtney speaks very highly of you. I expect, gr I expect great things as well. So be sure not to disappoint me. Is that clear? Of course. I won't be a... Good. Here's what you have to know. Be, be sure you remember that. Understood. Yes, ma Master Garrett. The first two floors of the house are your responsibility. Also, the warehouse and the garden is at your disposal. I'll give you the keys to the warehouse. You are free to visit the library in your free time, too, if you wish. You received the warehouse key from Master Gareth. Thank you very much, Master Le Gareth. That was very kind of you. I didn't finish. There's one more thing you have to know. You might already be aware there was an incident in the house. There was an incident, and the house is in disrepair. 
Sorry, my mic fell over. I'm gonna repeat this. <laughs> as you already be as you might already be aware, there was an incident, and the house is in disrepair. But by no means you have have you to go to the second and third floor of the house. They are forbidden to you. Is that clear, Iden? Of course, Master Gareth. Good. Now you may go. Hilda and Sasha will explain to your explain to you. Why? Why? Why is there... Why is there a hole where that guy was standing? I have questions. Okay. Hey. Hmm? Welcome back. So what do you think of the master? I, uh, don't worry, you'll have, uh, you'll have time to know him better. He's a sweet, gentle soul. A sweet, what? Okay, so she likes the master. Greetings. You were looking for me? I guess I haven't introduced myself before. Yeah, I'm Sasha. Okay, so this guy is different than the other one we met. Are they twins? They look a lot alike, don't they? Yeah, I'm Sasha. Don't waste my time. What do you need? Now that I think about it. Okay. What happened to the other floors? If I were you, I wouldn't go up there. Master Gareth doesn't like his staff being nosy. And there's nothing that might interest you. Greetings. Okay. Huh? Not that story about that creep again. Listen, if you're clever enough, don't ever talk about this in front of Master Gareth. Ever. And stay away from the stoves and the chimney. He doesn't like fire. Well, you know why. We all have scars from that event. Greetings. Hmm. Huh? What are you in charge of? I'm the cook of the mansion. I heard you'll be taking on the gardening from tomorrow. Be sure to take care of the plants for me. Okay, so you're a cook, but he doesn't want fire to be used. I should talk to Hilda and Sasha first. Um, now that I think about it... You didn't know? The mansion was set on fire. The flames spread from the upper floor towards the basement, and the second and third floor are still dangerous. I guess I'll go to bed now. Wait, I got more questions for her. Let's see what she says about the fire. It's a secret, but we had another servant here before. The night the house was set on fire, he disappeared without a trace. Since then, light lighting the stoves and the chimney is strictly forbidden. Only Master Gareth can set the flames. We don't want another incident like that happening. How does the guy cook, then? Does he just cook non-cooked meals, then? Like, you know, slice up some apples? What are you in charge of? I'm basically cleaning all day here. <laughs> Not that funny, I know. And you can guess how much of a chore it was when the house burned. I guess you'll be assigned to the garden. How lucky. Okay, so I talked to both of them, and now I'm supposed to go to bed. Okay, so this is our room. Well then, tomorrow will be a long day. Yes, it will, my boy. Uh, I don't know if I have it up high enough for you guys to hear that. It sounded like uh somebody was screaming, but the screams were muffled. What on earth? Wait. I'm cold. No. 
I'm not that enthusiastic to go to work. To go to work night. I'll do it tomorrow. Did you see that? Did you see that, guys? Um, um. Something's going on. Water doesn't look like tap water. Besides, the color is bright red. Get water? Sure. <coughs> Excuse me. You obtain tap water. It's it's just rusty, I think. What's going on here? It's always the bathrooms, man. Gareth's not in here. What is he doing in this little room, by the way? Master Gareth isn't in here. Freshly changed? Did he not even go to bed? There's a fire. There's a fire. Oh my goodness. I didn't see that. Use the water to put out the flames. Yes. You drop the entire bucket on the flames. When did we get a bucket? I thought we were... Okay. That was weird. I'd, I'd better go back to my room now. Yep. 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 I did not notice that fire. Was that there before? Tomorrow's another day, huh? <laughs> Our dude is like not phased. Okay, there's a raging fire. Let me just put that out. Go back to bed, bed. <laughs> okay. Hello. Good morning, Aiden. Did you sleep well? Oh, hi, Zachary. Okay, so there is three. This is Zachary. There's Zachary, Sasha, and Hilda. I came to tell you Master Gareth is having a meet-up in ten minutes in the dining hall. You should get yourself ready. Well then, see you later. Okay. Wait! Huh? What's the matter? Yesterday night, did you hear anything... Did you see anything strange? <coughs> I see and hear a lot of things, Iden. A.K.A. Yeah, weird crap happened here. Oh, there you are. Come here, next to Hel Hilda. No way. Well, I called you here because... It was one of you. I touched the furniture of my room to the fa with the fingers, and what do I find? Cinder. Maybe one of you find this joke funny, but I'm having none of it. But, you see, Master, I cleaned all the floor no and- way. Don't interrupt me, Hilda. I said I'm having none of this. The next slight hint of cinder I find, I'll punish you for sure. Huh? But you don't know who res who's responsible is. Hilda and I would never- I'll punish you all. Now you may go. Oof, he's pissed. I think it's a ghost screwing with him. <laughs> oh man. Oh, they gone. <laughs> Impressive. You didn't even make a sound. So he was right. There's somebody enjoying this. Oh no, no. You just remind me of how obedient I was when I arrived. Don't worry. A slight hint of cinder won't harm Master Gareth. He's always been so squirmish. Squirmish. I guess not. Besides, I'd like to have a word with you. Hmm? Yes? 
day, about the fire. Oh, the fire. What did they tell you about it? That a pyromaniac set the fire, the mansion on fire? The old servant, I think. And that he disappeared. Huh? I guess so. Do you really believe that? What do you mean? <coughs> you look smart, Aiden. I'm sure you ought to know better. That there must be a hidden truth behind the explanations. A truth no one would believe. Hmm? What are you in charge of? I've been hired as Mas Master Gareth's personal valet. Since then, I've been in charge of scheduling his whole routine. Dressing, having baths, sending his letters, all sorts of mundane and job affairs. Wait, you dress him? <laughs> yeah. So you can never say... So you can say he never lifts a finger by himself, I guess. Hmm? Dang. About Master Gareth. You're wondering how he put up such... He put up such a fortune, right? He inherited from the Lays, as the firstborn heir, though he was an exquisite painter and he sold his creations to the locals. A painter? For real? But I don't see any of his paintings here. I'm afraid they all burned up in the fire. Except one, maybe. Is it that one right there? The, the sun one? <coughs> Between you and me, Aiden... Aiden. After the fire, he wasn't the same. He retired in his rooms and started working on his masterpiece. He became obsessed by the face of the person who appeared in his dreams every night. He scrapped lots of quality paper to re replicate it, to no avail. He spent more and more time in solitude on the painting. Sasha thinks he lost all his marbles. You know wh where the painting yeah. is? If I must take a guess, I would say it would be hidden in his rooms, but none of us is allowed in. Okay. Hmm. Hang on a sec. Where'd he go? Okay, let's see if we can go outside. Yay! Okay. I'm gonna go around back. Ooh, there's a lot more weeping willows here. I'm just going to check them all real quick, because I said under the weeping willow. I'm not crazy. I'm sure this is the willow, the one the note was talking about. Dig under the willow? Uh, hell yeah. You obtained a spare key. You... You sneaky. Use the warehouse key to open the door. Barrels storing some liquid. A tank filled with dirty water. You see something on the bottom. Put your hands in. This water. Oh. Oh, somebody was in there. Somebody was in there, guys. You obtain a my mysterious piece of writing. Hello? Okay. I have all the keys, but I cannot open any door. Come to me and I'll reward you. Okay. How do I come to you, Mr. Ghost? Chuck of wood. Can you do anything with this? There's a warehouse. There's nothing real there's no garden back here. I mean we do have some flowers, but like <coughs> Can I go this way? find the other ones. Ooh, I wonder, wait a sec, wait a second, wait a sec. This is either the key to the servant's room or that locked key. Okay, there's so many places. 
Okay, not there. Ooh, yay! The library! That's a skull! Handful of books about cooking. La Novela Christine. Wait. Blood? Bones and butter. Okay. The Fall of the House of Usher by Edgar Allan Poe stands out of the pile. On music. It's a shelf dedicated to a whole encyclopedia. What would you like to read? The trumpet group ranges from the piccolo trumpet with the highest register in the ba Bass family. Okay. Most violins have a small wooden body. Let's go look at Leonardo. Amora Silvnizi is a musical riddle based on the Italian piano keys. It means only love makes me remember. It alone fires me up. Bluebeard. On the corner of, the pa of page 60, there's a marking. Do you want to read it? There was a gentleman who was very rich. He had a fine town and country houses. His dishes and places were all of gold and silver. His room w were hung with damask. His sofas were co covered in the richest silks, and his carriages were all gilt with gold in the grand style. But it happened that this gentleman had a blue beard, which had made him very frightful and ugly that none of the ladies in the parts where he lived would venture to go into his company. The gentleman told his wife that he was forced to leave her for a few weeks. He had some affairs to attend to in the country. Here, he said, is a master key to all the rooms in the house. His small key belongs to the closet at the end of the long gallery on the ground floor. I'll give you leave, he said, to open, or to do what you like with all the all the rest except this closet. This, my dear, you must not enter, not even put the key into the lock, for all the world. If you do not obey me in this one thing, you must expect the most dreadful punishments. Something dropped from the book. You obtained a silver key. Alright, alright, cool. Complete collection of Shakespeare's plays. Looks like Master Gareth has good taste. Uh, good taste. The volume of the Othello is particularly damaged. It's an old love letter. To my beloved Gareth, I know we can't be together in the open, but I didn't forget my promise. You shouldn't either, because I will never leave. I will always be by your side, in this life or another. Yours truly. The end of the page is burnt off. It's probably saved from the fire along with these books. Ooh, somebody loved Gareth. This book had a has a handwritten dedication. Do you recognize the handwriting? The handwriting. Hatred stirs up conflict, but love covers all wrongs. Proverbs 10:12. Hmm. Lock is broken. The Great Fire of Rome was an urban fire that occurred in July 64 AD. The fire began in the merchant shop around Rome's chariot stadium. Circus Maximus, on the night of July 19th. After six days, the fire was brought under control, but before the damage could be measured, the fire reignited and burned for another three days. Motivated by a desire to destroy the city, Emperor Nero secretly sent out men pretending to be drunk to set the fire to the city. Nero watched from his palace on the Palatine Hill, singing and playing the lyre. In the af aftermath of the fire, two-thirds of Rome had been destroyed. A whole section dedicated to erotica. No more on that, huh? <laughs> this section uh, would use some cleaning. Do you want to rearrange the books? Yes. You decide to clean all over and rearrange the books. There we go. Everything is tidy and clean. The one of the book books is stuck to the shelf. It's a lever. You hear an unlocking sound somewhere. Ah, I knocked my mic over. Ah, okay. Ooh, we opened a secret door. That's like my dream, okay? Having a huge library with secret doors. That's my dream, guys. Okay, there's something opened. I bet it's that spot in the basement. Let's go check. 
Ooh, the doors are open over there. I want to check the spot in the basement first. No. Okay, okay. It must have just opened that up there. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Oh, some dark music. One leads to death. The other leads to freedom. One always lies. One always speaks the truth. Are you a liar too? We're of different kinds. We're one of a kind. Cross. I should have saved the game. Okay. I'm saving the game. Goodness, I haven't saved since the beginning. Ah. Oh, it's closed. Okay. Cross. Ooh. Different dimension much? An ornamental axe. Looks pretty old. The edge is rusty. Can't go over there. Oh, now I can. Only ashes of burnt clothes. The drawers are empty except for one piece of paper. Contained a mysterious piece of handwriting. Let's see. After one. Okay, okay, this is a... <sighs> this is a puzzle. I do, I do. <sighs> Let me respect this up. <sighs> Excuse me. After one traumatica, one pointe, and another one traumatica, I took three steps to see the levante. It was dark. Okay. I bet that right there is the painting he did. Shelves look ravaged. They're, they're full of ashes and some burnt books. Unreadable can be seen. The drawers are messy and clunky, but there's still something. He obtained a winding key. Aww. Okay. I want to check everything out first. Woo, I'm upstairs. Oh, did I die? It's pitch black. Without a lamp, I might fall into the cracks. I'll come back later. Yeah, I agree. Uh-oh, music's going on. Sheet music. Lacrimosa from Requiem. Wolfgang. Armadeus. Bark of Bending. Oh, Fortuna. Yeah, these are classics. Cantus in Memoriam, Benjamin Britten. Shelves look ravaged. I can't get to that part on the wall, can I? Can I? Nothing here but dust. Something is clogging the piano. <coughs> Pry it open. You find a burnt piece of paper under the lid between the hammers. Only love makes me remember. It alone fires me up. Give me love. I'll give you something in return. Oh, fuck. Fudge, 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 fudge. It was being timed. I died. Oh no, did I start? Oh no, I started the game again. <laughs> no! No! Let me load! Let me load, I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Let me zowie! 
I hit the wrong button. Kadoop. Uh, turn. To new. There we go. Okay, I need to get the the keys again. I want to try that. I shouldn't go up there. Okay. Oh, that's creepy. Okay, it just conked me out. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta figure this out, guys. I am saving the game. Love. Oh, Fortuna. Oh, man, I don't know which one's love. I think it probably told me in the other one, but... Give me love and I'll give you something in return. Okay, so it's none of those. Hmm. I probably need to write down. Wait. Do I have the notes? Yeah, one. Or is this a trick to go upstairs? One traumata, one piante, and another one traumata. It took three steps to see the levantine. Huh. Okay, I just don't know the answer to that yet. Aiden Court what? Oh, our last name is Corte. Okay. But that what? What? Okay, so um All right, so don't do that. I'm going to this is this one. No. Yeah, that had any of those phrases in them. another key. You think I can hear yet? No. Okay. Let's see if we can open the servants' quarters with the other key. A requiring piece to make the gramophone work. Where the heck is the gramophone? That's the, um... Huh. 
gramophone is the thing with like the funnel on the top, right? Okay, there's clearly not one here. Oh, we can invite someone to group tea time. Ooh. Right, Hilda. Now please select the invitation and send it. How do I send it? Huh? I think it says up here, right? It is required a written invitation. It is the servant's task to write invitations to the tea party. Uh, you can invite people for tea writing. A letter from the book in Colocate Ant Man Surgery. Choose the person you want to write and then select the letter from your inventory. Remember, tea does not drink. Yeah, it's way a million people. Okay, so we have it. Okay. So. Howdy, Aiden. It's nice to see you again. Hi there, Hilda. It wasn't difficult to find you. I always hear you humming while you're doing your chores. It is true that you're the cleanest maid, after all. You're swinging with that broom. Oh, really? That's quite embarrassing. <laughs> I didn't think you saw me do that. Do you think Master Gareth did? He certainly does. What's wrong with that? You have a beautiful voice, Hilda. Did you take musical lessons? Huh, <laughs> no, no. It'd be too much for a maid like me. I learned all by myself. I can honk the piano too while singing, but I'm not that good. It's nothing more than a bunch of love songs. Oh, she's the one that has a crush on Gareth. Certainly suits you. You're clearly a dreamer and have a romantic spirit. You definitely should let Master Gareth listen to you. No, that'd be so embarrassing. I think I might die. Please, please, don't tell Master Gareth. I swear it. <laughs> Cross my heart. If you say so, I won't. Feel better now? Thank you. Oh, goodness. You okay, girl? Okay, let's look at everything. Lock is broken. Presents. A lot of packages wrapped in colorful paper. It's a work of art. I mean, strawberry cake. A pot. Pie. Green tea is served. Oh my god, girl, calm down. Hey. Hey, 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 you, you. I did talk to someone else. I'm sorry I messed up. Yes. Let me leave. <laughs> I broke the game. Oh no, I saved over the save file. Oh no, I'm I'm dead. I'm dead, guys. No. Yes. It's not, I broke the game. I broke the game. Broke the game and then I saved over my save thing. Frig.
Okay. <laughs> oh no. I broke the game, guys. Okay, I'm gonna leave this part here and see if I can figure out how to uh, fix it. Uh, I am enjoying this so far. Uh, please let me what, know what you think down below. Who do you think is the one that has the romantic interest in Gareth? And why do you think the other servant burnt down the house? Well, uh, hopefully we'll find out in the next part. Thank you for joining me. Until next time, bye!